Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Let's get started. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. I love a parade. What's that from? Um, is it a show tune? I, don't know. Let me I look love it up. a parade. Yeah. Well, it's actually, Mike, it's how we've built our careers. I've, I've said it my whole life, and I don't have any clue where it Do comes you from. love a parade, though? Uh, yeah, I do. I do. I still love, uh, I love a good parade. I don't uh, What's frequent a good parades. Parade? A good parade, you want to know what makes a good parade? Yeah. yeah. Two major things uh, make a, your uh, hometown, uh, not big time parade, what will make that parade is if the people that are uh, riding in the back of, like, flatbed trucks throw candy out to the kids. Yes, that the kids makes, love it. That makes a good parade. Uh, and Mike, the it's from exa- a 19... 19- hold on, hold on, hold on okay. let me finish. All right. Uh, and the best example of that would be up in Maine, in Bar Harbor. It's a local one-horse uh, town uh, parade, and the, uh, the one with Tim Bertina. Yes. That, I, that I go yes. to, uh, try to go to every year, and they throw candy to the kids. And I remember in Manassas at one point when I was doing a lot of parades, the Christmas parade from my bar up there, and the St. Patrick's Day parade. At one point, they did you ever they, do the Southern Pride parade through Manassas? No, I never did. Thank okay. you. Sorry. The, the, no, I didn't. I couldn't get the uniform in time. <laughs> the um, and I remember they came in some city father Dick decided that uh, throwing candy, someone got hit on the noggin with a piece of hard candy. It was mm. so, and it's like, oh, really? Because some kid's going, Bleh, and gets Boy, a... Boy, Manassas, a, a, uh, a, meth is lighter, right? <laughs> it was just... <laughs> Go out I and loved, throw the meth. Yeah. I love that. And, I, and, I, and I, my kids were always like really cool, the little kids, and would give them candy when they, you know, the... Because the, the you were one of the celebrities. Were, well, no, for a, for like one or two... Still, what, what is this, Mike? This is the hit record from 1932. Harry Richmond sang it. It's from a musical on Broadway called Three's a Crowd. Perhaps I'm what you call a patriot. And uh, it was co written by Harold Arlen, who I believe co wrote uh, Over the Rainbow. I have to check with the city fathers. Are they going to do anything to us for this? Are they going to mess with us because of this? Will they? No, I think as long as we bail out, we're fine. Okay. This song? That song? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's out of Creative Commons. That's like, no one owns that. Yeah, we can play Harry Richmond all day long. No one cares about that. Ever ever since I've been alerted to that, I I always get a little paranoid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If if, if it's popular, never play it. That's the way. All right, I want If it's unpopular. Sure. It was unlikely. a top hit in 1931, Mike, but it was also <laughs> featured in several Warner Brothers cartoons. That's probably how we as kids 70 years? It. Yeah. No, um, 93 years ago. No. Now, so, over 70 years is Creative Commons now, I think. No, it's 100, isn't it? I, I thought it was 50 to start. I think it's 42. You know, we're in broadcasting. We should find that out. That's true. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a uh, this is a a very recent update. Do you know uh, what I almost hit on my way taking Michael to school today? Wow, oh, your I, son! I came this close to hitting a Rivian. A Rivian. Oh wow! Oh. Ooh. Mm. New Highline uh, electric SUV. And and yes. he was very fleet of foot, and I was very fleet of foot. So it was one of those deals where you see this occasionally where you're going into the right lane and he's going to the left. And I was like, whoa. Yeah. whoa. yeah. That's how you would describe that. Did kind you? Of thing. Whoa. You know. This is, you both drive modern vehicles. You yeah, and, I'm a, and, and I got to like leave early and chill because I was just casually changing lanes, but I was changing lanes to advance my my car and there's really it's not a big difference maker. Well, what what saves me and I think most people is the tech behind your vehicle. That I definitely I get a beep beep beep. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, you I got have an alert. Tech, I have tech. I have tech that makes me go like that. That's in that tech is a nudge. That's what I would have uh, I would effectively refer to it as a nudge. It nudges you to the left. Hey, don't do that. Don't yeah. do that. I have collision avoidance, so that's how a good many thing. Rivians do you see down there? To me, up here, there's still like unicorns because you don't uh, see them that often. Not uh, enough. 
but but yeah. not uh, you know this is Carville down here. A lot of a lot of a lot yeah. of uh, in cars. Los Angeles everywhere. Yeah, it had in to DC, be. Eh, a still few. cool. Still a cool car, rare enough to be like, oh okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then L.A. was was the land of Tesla before anybody was the land yes. of Tesla, and then down here became the land of Tesla. If you go south of here, in Richie Richville, you get uh, you get a, a lot of the the high end cars. Mm-hmm. What's know? high end for Naples? Naples high end would be uh, Bentley, uh, Lamborghini, Mace, okay. Rotti. Ferrari. So one hundred fifty, two hundred and up. Uh, but but you know it's a it's an anomaly. You see it and you notice it because it's rare that you see it. But it's kind of cool, you know. At the same time, and it, and the Bentleys are, I would say, of all the of the most sightings of high end. I mean, super high end cars. That would probably, if you get down into, an, I don't travel down there very often hmm. because it's uh, it's hard to get to now. Because everybody's here, so it's it's a difficult slog to get mm-hmm. down there. But if you go down there, the further south you get, the more you're going to. Uh, it, it's you know, it's not from, as rare. It's you can get into a Bentley that looks kind of new for roughly you know a little under fifty thousand dollars. You can, you yes. can if you, if you want to drive a car that's got uh, you know uh, that's going to cost you minimum four thousand dollars to I, service with ninety thousand miles on it go ahead and knock yourself i've never out. inquired that far i'm just saying they can well i just th- I look there are a dime a dozen They're i like watch it, a, right? a guy uh, a florida guy as a matter of fact that goes to auctions and retrieves high-end cars hmm. and there are uh many many websites that will show you what the reliability factor is and if you if you're sitting there you can get into this car for such and such a price, mm-hmm. you have to take the mileage into account and what it's going to cost to uh, service. Well, like it. brake rotors are going to cost for uh, for a yeah. car like that. You know? What if you're a car guy and you fix your own stuff? If you're doing that, to, go down to the junkyard and pick up some uh, rotors well, this, for this your guy Bentley. Goes to the auctions, and the big thing down in Florida right now is uh, is guarding against uh, cars that were damaged in floods. Yeah, uh, because of uh, Hurricane Ian, there uh-huh. are because think about it. What's your high end real estate? It's on the it's on, on the water, water, front. water yeah. yeah, and yeah. tons of cars, and they can clean them up and make them look good, but you don't know what's under yeah. the hood. So Oscar, was it orange or yellow the M-Tora. SUV you were going to buy? You were going to buy some ridiculous colored SUV, and you it was going to buy a G wagon. Yeah, but it was it was no, well, not the true G wagon. It was the four door military uh, version. Better one uh, or a oh a worse one. one, much worse one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, and. Oh God! It's embarrassing. It was not orange; it was yellow. That's it's what bright. I knew it Bumble, was. Bumblebee yellow. I knew it was something that. And I said, paid Look a gentleman, yeah. an expert in Florida. Uh, well, by the way, when have you not known me to have a car that said that didn't, didn't say "Look at me"? Right? Your that's, Volvo that's is not, not a "Look I, at me" car. It's a. It's a very expensive. If you know that Volvo, yeah, but it's not it a says, look, look at me. Car. It's not a look yeah, at me yeah, car. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. Um, but, but but other than that, right? Right. Other than, other than that, everything else has been like. A penis on wheels. That's true. That it just has been. And remember the Audi? That was a look at me in the repair shop car. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> you hit you know, a pebble. You have to get. You have to get your your wheels rebalanced. As I make the effort to uh, use Mrs. O'Mara's vehicle as much as I can. Like, yeah, for because example, of the mileage. Yeah. We do a switcheroo now. I used to take my kid down to school in my car and then uh, come back. Uh, now I take her car because uh, I take him to school before she leaves for work, and so we're keeping uh, the mileage, the, the miles down, yeah, the, the miles down. I am still, even though it's August, when I will dump that car, mm-hmm. I'm still thinking, thinking, thinking all the time about uh, what the opportunities are and what's out there in the land of cars. And I have a question because I put it on my show prep today. Yes, and I have a question for both of you. Right. I have gotten a sense. Uh, from talking to people. And the guys that I hang out with Spidey are, uh, by and large, very successful people. Mm-hmm. And they've done very well. And they're car people because it's guys. And I hang out with guys all the time with uh, golf and all that. And I've gotten a sense of the the wave, the electric wave is not a tidal wave. It's more of a, a movement in the direction. But I don't, I still, even though in, car makers... Right. Are planning to, uh, you know, really phase out combustion engines down the road. Right. I still get a sense of the 
a lot of people wanting to hang on to the combustion engine. So my question to both of you is, what is the status right now of electric cars? Are we in a are we in an overwhelming yay period or are we in a nay? Because it seems to me we we still don't have everybody making them and we still don't have more importantly everybody buying them. Statistically, I believe they are not they're not selling as well as perhaps <clears throat> automakers would like I them know, to sell. Is I know that- Oscar will have a more detail than me, but I can bring up two talking points to start us. One is that Hertz recently got rid of almost all of their electric vehicles because they found that people that drive electric vehicles are more likely to get in accidents. And they think it might be because they're not accustomed. People that normally drive a combustion car go to Hertz, rent an electric car, they're not used to it, and they wreck it. So that has been that one factor. That doesn't make any sense, though, because it's like driving a golf cart. Cytosaurus. Well, a Cytosaurus, I saw this this morning sounds like on a, CNN. It sounds like we're working with Alex Jones, doesn't yeah. it, Oscar? <laughs> <laughs> sounds like, you know, All um, I'm saying is the, that the sources, the people, the, the it, overwhelming, it could be the right. overwhelming I don't know. Uh, the people that I'm drive electric cars are motor coordinator challenges based on the, the, uh, the global conspiracy of the military industrial he, complex he that is resulting right. in people. Statistics bear out that Hertz sold you, their car. Okay, can you say, well that you just said that they sold their cars and that's that that is a fact they're selling their, their electric cars uh, a good portion yeah i did not hear be, it's because it's the, based on the statistic that they are more inclined to be in a wreck than I have a, a, new, a combustion I car i have a new thing when we ever have any discussion about anything relevant yes, yes. especially if yeah. there may be disagreement yes. among the three yes. of us the new mantra will be source it yes <laughs> mac you should be looking at this right now he's dying Okay. That mean he have, don't you have a laptop? Right uh, now, he doesn't even have well, a yeah, lung. My computer, yeah. Yeah. yeah how about, how about you use technology or your phone? Okay. Gotcha. And just, also, just Mike, work on that, please. Uh, particularly in Chicago right now, Tesla owners are very upset because of the extreme cold. The cars are not holding a charge, and I do have a source here. Now, here can a, I just say, as you continue to go on and on, that when on it and comes on? to Electric cars, you are, I know where you come from because it's new and it's not saying this. Yeah, he's, and, yeah, it, and he's, you, you don't, he doesn't trust you, it. You will be against that on, on usually 99. Would that be accurate? 90% of the time, something that's like. But you see, Mike, I'm conflicted because, as you know, I don't really care about cars. So there you are. I don't know. I'm just reporting he's what talk, I saw he's, the news. he's talking about technology. Technology, I'm anti-technology, of yes. course. But, yeah. Mike, the frozen temperatures in the Midwest so have got Tesla owners upset. No juice. It's still on 0%. And this is like three hours this morning being out here after being out here eight hours yesterday. Man, this is crazy. It's, it's, it's a disaster. Seriously. Just, oh, we got a bunch of dead robots out here. It's not plug and go. You have to precondition the battery, meaning that you have to get the battery up to the optimal temperature oh. to accept the fast charge. And they're saying that your best bet is, if you can, keep your electric car, they keep saying this, inside. I know they mean a garage, but I keep picturing it in someone's living room. But I would like to say to you, Rob Spiewak, before we let uh, the Mr. Technology in on this, yeah. I mm-hmm. would like to say to you, you do care about cars. Don't pretend you don't care about cars. You used to really get into cars all the time. You used to talk about your Caprice Classics, and you used to talk about, and you've, you've gone on and on. You get excited when you're going to get a car. You've talked about your Tahoe and your... your I, I have your, liked cars, but I don't, I don't shop for fantasy cars the way you two do. But, the, but it's... The, but They're not the fantasy. Cars. They're it fantasy cars to you. What I drive... You know, I think it's in with, with within reach. No, but when you were going to buy car, that yellow you know, car, that was a fantasy a car. High, hold on, Rob. It doesn't have to be a high end car for you to be into cars. You're into cars. You like you're you're interested in cars. I like my car. If I like my car, I'm happy. I'm not going to be looking around at other okay. cars. I'm not going to get a straight answer out of you. Remember when you used to talk about finding a uh, the police chief? Yeah, I liked that. I liked that car. That. Yeah. That's, so, so don't say you're not into cars. Well, that's a, perhaps it's a, perhaps I'm over it because it doesn't matter to me anymore. I don't know. But what are you into now? What are you into? Right now, I like the comfort and safety of my Subaru because I flipped a no, Subaru but I'm and I in live. general, a passion. A passion? Yes. Mm. Still like my records. Still like collecting records. Still working on my jukebox. Uh, 
Passion? I don't know right now, passion. I like watching. You could, you could live, technically, in a efficiency apartment with a hot plate and be perfectly uh, content. Not, I like my kitchen, though. I need a bigger kitchen. To be, uh, okay, you get a little kitchenette okay. <laughs> and never have to go out of doors. Right. <laughs> Well, it but, is awful cold right now to go out of doors. But anyway, that's the latest is the I thing have, about cold. I have an article okay. that it's from the New York Times, uh, a paper of note, that, that says that, um, I quote here, the decision to sell 20,000. So, who cares? The old gray uh, lady. 20,000 vehicles. It. Yeah, well, I'm not quoting. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just I think it's this. the paper of record, but I don't know. Now, now here's another thing we got to source. I think it's called the paper Aren't of record. Aren't they all papers of note if people know there's about a them? Slu- there, there, yeah. There's a slogan for most major old-timey newspapers like the Washington Post well, the and the New Times, York Times. Times is all the news that's, that's fit to print. That's what they have in their mass. New York Times? Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, throwing the, a slogan out. I was just saying it's a paper that everybody knows. Did I say it wrong? No, I mean, no, a paper no, of note. Slogan. Don't no, worry, the post is uh, democracy dies in darkness. Okay, yeah, that is correct. I, I can uh, I can confirm that, and it mm-hmm. does. Mm-hmm. The reason why they're citing that these they sold these twenty thousand or they want to sell these twenty thousand vehicles is the unprecedented price cuts by Tesla that undercut the car's resale value. As we all know, Hertz resells their cars. Yeah, and their recars. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Their car, their cars that are resold are part of their business model. I, my actually, one of my dad's uh, prior cars was from a Hertz rental car place that was a, a rental car before it went to. I purchased a Hertz uh, rental car. Myself. So that's not not uncommon. So if I, you bought, if you purchase Teslas at such a high level, yeah, and then you resell them at a loss. You're just gonna you you you're not gonna continue buying Teslas and reinvesting them because of the price cuts. Because you're not gonna do that. I was laughing because I was remembering the Tahoe, I believe it was. Yes. Uh, Hertz rental car that I bought, and I had finished the deal. One of the few times I've done this before Mrs. O'Mara came down to uh to check the car out, yes. and with the sales guy there and everything, she opens the door and he goes, "This stinks." Ah! <laughs> the car. Smelled the car. That's right. Smelled. I remember that. <laughs> and lived that one down for a long time. I have a problem with that. I know. I buy cars that that I that I I always thought I had a good nose, yeah. but olfactorily, you yeah. know, the real nice one. You know that Carla drives down yes. here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bought it. P- cherry, pristine. And then I jump in to the passenger side and like, and deep, 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 deep down with all their. Uh, what, what do they call it? neodymium or whatever the the mm-hmm. emodium or whatever mm-hmm. the hell you know what I mean the stuff mm-hmm. they use to clean the yes. cigarette smell came out oh from oh, the seat I bet the oh, my God. I bet the seat cushion held it no yeah no. Anyway. so anyway so, uh, New York the, Times Wall Street Journal and the Washington Post are the top three United States pa- newspapers of record that's what it says so he was so right. paper yeah. of record I should yeah. shut up yeah. when you talk about the depreciation and selling these cars on the cheap. What, it, what, in your opinion, is the status of electric car sales in the United States right now because of all this going on? Oh, uh, my, my feeling from my lens is what's going on with this um, sub-zero, uh, just three-week run of what we didn't expect and haven't had some time is this uh, polar Arctic vortex. Chill. Yes. Mm-hmm. Is that people are realizing, like we all knew from the beginning, that uh, yeah, it's true. Lithium-ion batteries, when when it's cold, it takes longer to charge, or or your charge will not last as long. True. That's it. Not and not cool. Yeah. Well, no. I, this is a fact. Like, I, this is not new news to me, at yeah. least. But that, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in general, the car guys, and these are car guys yeah. I talk to. Yeah. Are like, there's not a. The, if, I remember I thought we were going to be on the cusp of everybody's going to be getting them. Well, they were right. going to be now they are certainly financially accessible more than they have been. Let, but, let me let, yeah. let me add this. Um, and we've learned this over what well, I've 20 years, but really in the past, at least for me, it's seven years that this story will pass and then. Uh, we'll get back to, I'm sure that the EV 
uh, con- uh, the world is getting together their stories that are going to also tell their truth that's, that says that uh, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, all these major companies have committed to an all-electric um, fleet by 2030. Mm. By 2030, Six I am years telling you, though, they uh, do you believe that during that time period we will see, and I'm talking about significant innovations mm. that oh. will solve some of these issues, yes. uh, i.e. I, fast charging, the, the, batteries yes. not doing well in the cold uh, yeah, weather, I'll, I'll agree, charging agree. Yes. stations along yeah, the yeah, highway. Better routes. looking cars. Better uh, looking the, cars. You know, some, even some of these, uh, um, these Highline EVs, they're not selling very well because they look like, you know, when, if you thought the Toyota Prius, which, by the way, looks amazing these days. I think the Prius has been redesigned. Um, it, it looks really good, and it's it, a solid product. If that was a potato wedge, and then you look at a Tesla, which looks like it's one of those McDonald's skinny fries. Uh, <laughs> the curly fry of the world is the Mercedes EVs, where you're like, what is happening here? My Mercedes. And um, I haven't done a deep dive on it, so I can't tell you what I think as far as sales, but I don't believe... They are uh, roaring off the lots. Oh, and the December to Remember uh, event sale, as um, my father and I were looking on the website. At, like. After your father bought a combustion engine. Yeah, yeah. of course. But right. he was. Did it have at, a big red bow on it? <laughs> no. Uh, but <laughs> when we, he that. was looking at pricing, the greatest incentives were on, on the electric cars. Sure. Yeah, because they, they, had to, they had to move the units. Yeah. Get them and out. so that's where we are. And that's why come August... When the lease is up, I will probably be. I'm going to be doing two things differently. I'm not going to be looking at electric because I just think there are. You're not few... patient enough. You're not built for electric. Now explain that to me. Um, the people that I know that have a high success rate at uh, having an electric car are planners. They're methodical. Oh, okay. They have uh, multiple resources right. and time. I have just, counterpoint here. I'm just a yeah, fly yeah. by the seat of his hand, uh, pants. No, room. no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. I am not. A counterpoint. Electric car guy. Mike would be ideal for an electric car, and here is why. Why? Because he lives in an environment that never gets below fifty degrees. Most of his driving are short hops, and he could charge in his driveway. I know. I he's agree. Perfect. Do you think he's going to remember to plug that thing in every time? Are you saying? Go. I mean, I mean, what is it? I knew when he came in today. I was in for this today. No, this I is ridiculous. This is the same. I, in, I would forget. I, I would. I, in, I, would no. forget. I would forget. End. I would forget to plug it in. My Mike. phone's always on three percent. I'm always. Look, I have a backup battery on my phone because I don't remember to Mike, plug my when phone. When is the last time, Mike, you ran out of gas? Um, never. See? Never. That's the same policy. He looks uh, at his fuel gauge li- and plugs li- the phone I, I, First Car, of all, if you went phone. back and listened to the tape, you would, <laughs> be, you would be hearing Oscar saying something really reasonable, just an assessment. That's not. Let me explain to you how I process it when he starts talking like that. All right? We say, why wouldn't an electric car be right for me? Uh, because the people I know that do well with her are usually uh, uh, brilliant, planners, highly educated, Handsome, intellectual, young. responsible, uh, wonderful. You look great. In a skinny suit, they are people like that. You know, as opposed to you, uh, Rube, Bowler, <laughs> Cheeto eating douche. Uh, no. You know, that's see, that's, that's what I not heard. what was meant. Okay, what was meant to kind of what I heard. By the way, I like Cheeto eating douche. <laughs> yeah, that is good. I, I and I'm going to give you the the last three people I know that have a high success rate with their electric vehicles. A set schedule. Nothing ever changes. Well, they come home, they plug in, and that's that. And they're never going anywhere, and th- and they don't have to go off, or they don't have uh, soccer practice or football or anything. They're single people. Boom, done. Like that's it. Like Mike is on a set is schedule, but I don't know if I trust it. And it's not a question. Of, and I think that I think I am like the vast majority of American consumers right now, where there is a part of me. That just says, mm, show me the reliability, and it's still young technology as far as I'm concerned. And so, and I also, being a car guy, mm-hmm. we are still the American public. All you have to do is listen to the cars. I, we I, have but, a love but, affair with the combustion engine. But, in the but, but, but uh, acceleration, acceleration. The, if you that's, really, they don't. I don't think they market that well enough. 
because the, the torque is and the, it's just it, you can't you can't it'll be the supercar. You see enough of these YouTube videos. Yeah, Wait till you're for, in the for, car on the cheap, and you go feel buy it. a Kia that'll kick the yeah, ass it, it, of a Lambo off instant, the line. Instant mm -hmm. and um, and then the other people that I've seen that works that the, works really well is. The people that have to, especially, there are three garages within uh, just the, our footprint of our building. And our building does not have, shame, shame, we know your, your, your name, any EV charging. So anybody that has an EV in this That's building true. has to go across the street. How big is your, is your, do you have a large garage at the bottom of the Two floors. Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably 64 spots, but okay. no, no EV charging. But right. They just don't have it. Okay. There's a building next door that has EV charging, and the entire first floor are all EVs. So if you ever walk in that garage or something, because it happens sometimes, people park in, the, in our wrong garage mm -hmm. and they think it's ours, so I have to go down there. They All these people are in the office, if they're in the office, and they're charging all day, right? So you have to have, like a, in my eyes, a window of like three to four or five hours every day where you're going to be in the same place every day and it's going to be charging. So you never jump in. You're like, oh, S. I don't have charge. I can't go anywhere. So right. this is why I skew with nay when it comes to electric, because I think ultimately your schedule. What's, what's no, no, no. I'm talk, not talking about me. I'm talking about just the overall market. Mm. I think the market will shift when it becomes the norm, and only when it becomes the norm. When the sea change is every uh, every car maker with. Yeah, it doesn't even have to be popular, but with a significant amount of electric vehicles and charging, making it more convenient for the consumer. Because I think the 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 number of people that care about acceleration and torque, like you and I do, yes. uh, is not as significant as the people that just kind of hey, we got to get up, we got to get some transportation. Well, it's, it's, here, it makes you know? it makes sense even savings wise. Um, my, the Safeway, the social Safeway in Georgetown, yes. D.C. area, for those of you. It's um, a grocery store. It's a grocery store. They rebuilt it seven years ago, yeah. have an underground garage, a free Tesla super uh, charger. This is the, the produce section where you get to come in only if you have a great ass. <laughs> <laughs> there are... <laughs> There are Tesla owners and EV owners, because anybody can use them, but Tesla owners, I think if you bought it within a certain window, can you can hear them charge for, in, the, charge, in the store. You can charge for free. No, they park their cars, and then they walk home, and then come back in the morning. There you go. They don't get towed? I thought they no, were cause pretty- No, because they're being charged. It's an EV. Charged. Wow. But it's the it's the and they're so they're stealing so the electricity. They're not stealing it. It was part of the package. If you bought a Tesla, you got free charging for at life at the Tesla station. At the Tesla supercharger. Yeah, we got like yes. four up at Gulf Coast Center up here, the big outdoor mall. We have four, and they're always full. So let me ask you this: Yes, if you add a forty percent efficiency cut on the output of the battery, which is an estimate that I saw on the news last night. Yeah. In, in sub zero temperatures, right. so lower performance, and you have minimal infrastructure in a city that's having a polar vortex. Buffalo. That's, that's going to create a a you know a cataclysmic event where everybody that needed juice, especially in a city that doesn't have great infrastructure for charging, who needs an electric car? To say f this, I'm just going to go with yeah. a you know combustion engine. Yeah. I agree. So the I think the the long and short of this discussion is that not quite ready, not well, quite it, ready it, for it prime time. No, it, it, they're ready for prime time. It depends on the type of driving you do as a driver. I'm not talking about individuals as much as the market itself. Yeah, I agree. They're ready. Yeah, I agree. But it's you can still go an into outlier. any dealership and pick yourself up an electric car. Yeah. I'm just talking about I. What, the reason prices are down for some of these cars is because it's just not. It's not uh, Americans are not ready for prime time to buy competition, these cars. Yet. Competition mm. has pushed down pricing, right? Which which that doesn't mean there isn't demand. There's competition across. Before Tesla was the only name in the game, and if you ha had like a Prius, a hybrid, okay, fine, that was kind of cool. But now you have Lucid, you have Mercedes Benz, uh, which by the way, not a fan of all their EVs except for that new G wagon that has that tank turn. Have you seen that, Mike? When it I just spins not. around, I have not. Oh my god! Oh, okay, so that's they, a couple they, hundred they, grand, you, probably for that car. Probably yes, yeah, but it right. can spin around in 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 place. A tank turn is what they call it. Mm. 
So you can actually be facing one direction, hit a button, and your entire vehicle spins console so it right locks away. in the other and it the locks all one wheel side drive the wheel allows yeah. you to go forward and backwards the, in both it, directions the, the electric version yes no effing problem does it have a Le- gun <laughs> no it doesn't right. and I like i've always i fantasize <laughs> there's not a week that goes by there's not a week that goes by that i don't fantasize about having a weapon on my car having my, and it I has an, only, an electric I have to gun. stop the conversation yes. yeah. seriously I am not exaggerating. Have either, has anyone, and I, I will cop to this right now, have you ever fantasized about having a machine gun, in my case, a 50 caliber James Bond dual machine gun in the front of your car, and if you, with impunity, could blow the other car in front of you off the highway, you would? I've Am never I, thought about that in my no, life. Not even once. No? Okay. Hi. Never, never, never. Hi, my name's never, Mike, ever. and uh, I drink bitter coffee in the morning because I'm a psychopath. <laughs> can I Can I add to our infrastructure conversation? Does it agree? have a sure. gun? <laughs> <laughs> there, are, there are the plans that are in place that we will see within our lifetime, within a decade, Maybe when, we, when we drive into, uh, and by the way, I don't think enough people um, give credit to Porsche and their electric, um, it's, a, it's a Taycan, right? Taycan. Taycan. No, is this now? Is it, it's Tiguan. Genghis Khan and Tai. Tiguan. That's a no, Volkswagen. No, no, I remember. Same I was company, thai. right? It's, it's yeah. like a Tai and Genghis Khan. So Taycan. Taycan. Yes. Taycan. <laughs> Back to Why No News. Beautiful. Fast. I know that you know that some people knock uh, that it's it's electric, but Bargain if you want price. that Porsche, yeah, that Porsche handling. And then on the other, and then on on the other end, um, you've you have companies like Walmart that are uh, dedicating an entire uh, division. So one day when you drive into a Costco or Walmart, mm-hmm. you're going to park, and at every one of those spots, you'll be able to just plug in. Okay, but we're not there yet. Well, that infrastructure is not there yet. Yeah. Correct. So that's mm-hmm. what's going to have to yeah. happen. So that yeah. why, that's why August, uh, less than a, right now, I'm not going to go completely, uh, less than a 30% chance of me acquiring a uh, an electric car. And I have to tell you something. This could change, here, though. We should get monthly updates from you on the no, percentage. No, but here's the deal. I have figured out the holy grail of the Costco cheap gas fill-up down here. What's and that? It occurs... When I drop my kid off for school, mm. and they open at I don't know at, I'm there at seven thirty in the morning. I think they open at the seven morning. here. Seven at I seven think is the opening. And hello, snowbirds. Hey, you predictable five thirty to six o'clock dinner eaters. I know you don't go out there first thing in the morning. No, and they're, it's they're sleeping empty. in. Yeah, it's a, you can't even crawl on the roads down here, but you can get gas without a wait at that. Uh, and the early bird gets, and I have the advantage of uh, being on the road at that. You know, might as well take advantage of it. And so I have that convenience feature. However, there is still the financial issue of the fill up. And I don't like that. So, and, and the numbers don't lie. The numbers show That's you true. that you will reap a it, it not overwhelming, but but significant Even enough service to service fees. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. it's uh, not too shabby. So, do you, I don't oh, know. do you? Look, Mike, I'm 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 not going to tell you to just do what you want because you you do what you want regardless. But this could be your last car. This next one. Oh, stop you should it. really splurge. What's the matter with you? Know, you know, well, no, hold on. I'm gonna, I'll take, look, I know he's, uh, look, we knew he was in that mood when he came I in just there. had this conversation with my father. Yeah, well, I'm, uh, he's you know, like, he's like, Oscar, look, you're right. You know what? Here, yeah. and hear me out. Yeah. Last car, probably not. No, not last, oh, hold but, on. But not last, last car, fun not la- car. Not last car as in like last no, car. No, last, ho- you know, dying last no, car. That's when, when I, it comes I, to, I, yeah, at my yeah, age, when it comes to automobiles, <laughs> I think in terms like that all the time. That, that <laughs> I'm not going to have many more moons to, to, to hop in something that would be really, really I, cool and fun. I, I think of that every day. Like I said, this could be my last no. hard boiled egg. <laughs> let, <laughs> what? let me, cl- and I am sorry. I mean, last car. And can I tell you why? Yeah. Because, because I just saw my my brother in law go through this, 
where so like six years ago, his kids were like 12 and 10. And he said, this is the last, the last fun one. And, and he's a uh, and, you know, pediatric intensivist. Isn't he, like, it's a different like we're tax bracket. I'm like, last fun one. He goes, got to start saving for college at a high level. I battle against this. So, so he yeah, had, he it. bought a coupe. No, yeah. I know what you're talking about. And I battle against the practic- practicality and the fun factor all the time. Mm-hmm. And that's why uh, there are a lot of people out there that do the same thing. And that's why when you're talking about a high price point on a vehicle, find yourself an SUV that's got a power plant that's, that kicks ass. You're going to pay premium, 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 premium because everybody wants that. Yeah, but they you, don't have need, that. You, you don't need that. You have that with Carla's car. Mm, yeah. yeah. You have that with car Carla's car. Yeah, but you have that with Carla's car. I'm saying. And, we're and, upside and, down and, on that. By the way, we're upside down in that car like a bat in well, a cage. Well, who isn't? The, the rest of America is as well. well that's yeah, just the. Yeah. the, you the ever you been? Li- last three years. Have you ever literally been upside down in a car though? <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> I I need to I want to sell you on this, but I check you over here doesn't care. I know. He's like I just flip them. I don't buy them. No, you're so, saying I, maybe maybe <laughs> my last opportunity. Uh, used, but maybe go for something really. I'm cool. not this. Okay, and this is going to sound effing mean, but it's not. Okay, it's not. You like- jump when we went to the Washington Auto Show together. I remember that. You jumped in to a handful of vehicles where I was up front with you, and I said, "That's too small. That's the the, the car's too small for you." And now mm-hmm. it's not because he jumped into an Alfa Romeo; it's because he jumped into. A Range Rover Sport, which his seats are just smaller, and he was a man of larger carriage. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, now that you are skinnier, yeah, you have new your opportunities. options have opened up. I was thinking about that the other day. Uh, gloves, Seventy gloves. pounds lighter, by the way. I I think that what here's what I this is the irresponsible. Yes, me. the practical me wants to get a fuel efficient SUV that I can haul my kid to games around, but we have an SUV. Right. The impractical wants to get a budget super cool car. Not a supercar. I can't afford a supercar. But a budget, fr- which means Can you cite an older example? With a, what's that? Can you cite an example of what would fall under that umbrella? Well, it begins with a uh, P. Pastor Martin. It, it, it begins with a P. Well, that would be. Uh, That's unfortunately, dream, the mileage factor and repair factor. Uh, all the good ones, but it usually uh, starts. Uh, the ones I look at all the time begin with a P and end with an E. Okay, and then uh, and I hope he doesn't mind P me saying this. My cousin a, Teddy yeah, picked Porsche. up a Porsche, uh, like a, a an old, old, old Porsche, and we were leaving Maine, yeah. and he was there with his son Cade, zinging along ninety five south. Yeah, you mentioned and this. And I they have look so never happy. seen. A yeah. face of we're men in America. We yeah. uh, and women can love cars. I understand that. But as far as the the American love affair with the automobile and the look on his face, the pure joy, the pure bliss. I might want to chase that. I might want to chase that. But I don't know. And so uh, who knows? Maybe yeah. he's done with it. And you're like, hey, are you done with that thing? By the it's way, this is there. all moot if things don't change in my life. If they don't change in my life, I'll be getting a bicycle. Yeah, but but look, but you a have cool to be, bicycle. You have to be positive, Mike, yeah. and 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 I think I am. And and my, uh, just uh, if I was gonna if I was gonna be a, if I was a broker, which I found out there are, for cars for high line cars. Oh, a car broker. Uh and you and I said, tell tell me your needs. What do you what are the two most important things? You know, I would I'd say, my if I was you, my son, and my golf clubs. Two most important, and this is not has nothing to do with Carla or anything like that. Just like the two things that you're going to be hauling around on a regular basis. Got to have room for those. And yeah. unfortunately, the the P and the E uh, that doesn't really cut it for that. Yeah. Well, what what's great is these brokers would then send you all the vehicles because you know, car manufacturers aren't dumb. They know that there's certain tax brackets play the game of golf. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They'll send you schematics on how the golf clubs go into your trunk or the back like seat. That's not really a back seat if it's a convertible or a road. True. Yeah. The one thing I also will tell you about automobiles yes. is I am reasonably sure, much like Oscar Santana has done in the past, that my next purchase 
will be exclusively an online purchase. Yeah. Because cars wow. and bids, baby. Because cars and bids. Nationwide, baby, is better than going to the. It is. The car yeah. dealership is a dinosaur. It is. The car dealership is a dinosaur. Just no dot RUs. Right. And no international purchases. You never know what you're going to I bought get. myself a Russian Porsche. We have great <laughs> Porsche for you. It uh, was at the bottom of sea uh, for a long period of time. There you go. Yeah. Bottom of the Caspian Sea. Caspian Sea. I, I like did green. purchase that one vehicle off. It was both on eBay, the Audi. And yes. And, California, was it not? Yes. And a beautiful car. It all worked out. Right. And cars.com. And I was like, this is interesting. Two different sites. Two different prices. We ran vodka through it. It uh, messed up engine. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm drinking it right now, and I love it so much. I yeah. really do. And I love the fact that we're associated with them. Uh, more and more people, when I'm out and about, I see them enjoying Liquid IV. Don't reinvent yourself for 2024. Just rehydrate yourself. Liquid IV, two times faster. That's the hydration you get. Two times faster than water alone. And it all comes in a single delicious stick. I'm drinking the lemon lime. They have lots of other flavors. No artificial sweeteners. You can feel like a hydrated new you ready to take on 2024. Uh, you know, I have my morning coffee in the morning, but I have to mm -hmm. tell you, my liquid IV is really the final piece of the puzzle that yeah. gets me ready for my day. Uh, this has three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drinks, plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. I love my liquid IV. So good, so easy. Add it to your water bottle, shake it up, and you're ready. White peach, green grape. My favorite, uh, drinking it right now, lemon lime. I love them all, and you will too. Make it a liquid IV 2024 and be the best that you can be. Rehydrate yourself for the new year. Grab your liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco or get 20% off your first order when you go to liquidiv.com and use our code TMOS at checkout. That's the best way to do it. 20% is what you'll get off your first order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code TMOS at liquidiv.com. Look, there it is. the Kraken's going electric. We have a very, very, very it's got a charge. interesting uh, roundtable today, starting with a voice from the past, an actor from the past, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. I'm talking about the one and only Pauly Shore. Mm. Are you aware that he will star in a biopic about Richard Simmons? Well, there was some <sighs> noise about this a few weeks back. Yeah. That's right, Pauly. I, I, revealed it last year, as a matter of fact, right? Go yeah, ahead, Oscar. I. I had a dalliance with Polly Shore. As did I. What was yours? Mine was the first time I ever spent a weekend in Hollywood where I felt like, oh my God, this is what, this is pre, like TMZ was just coming up. Mm -hmm. This is pre every uh, paparazzi. So, so celebrities would just, you know, lay out by the pool. And I was at, oh God, the Roosevelt. Right in uh in in, in LA, West Hollywood. these uh, this icon yeah these iconic yeah. um just the celebrity hotels with my friend Michael Corleone, and I look over to the right and there is one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life, and then five minutes later another beautiful woman comes out and I said is this what they talk about when excuse my language I'm sorry no things have changed but an L A ten is this what it was mm -hmm. this that's in in, yeah. in as the I live LA and breathe. 10. And then I hear what I think is somebody watching Biodome on the hotel television, uh, but it's not Biodome. It's Polly Shore. Walk by <laughs> prime and, time. Pa and pa yeah, Polly yes. Shore at his pinnacle. Yeah. No, not it's not. This is no. Oh, he was is, already. Uh, this is. He was. This over? is. I'm talking. This is. This isn't. And oh uh, God, it, it was. The 2015. Oh maybe. God! So he was long over. Yeah, but yeah. he was. He's still, mm -hmm. you know, still famous. Sure. Yeah. And he sits down, and then one of these wonderful women, uh, they start just putting sun sunblock on him, and I'm like, I can't believe this is happening. Right. This is wild. And they put the sunblock on little Polly. Oh That's dear. Really that was probably in the hotel room. I didn't see that. It's okay. it's funny you brought up Biodome because I was at the New York premiere of Biodome. <laughs> And did a, about that. an intimate press conference with uh, Paulie and Stephen Baldwin. And they were disinterested, buddy. Yeah, they didn't care, right? <laughs> no, they cool? wanted to be anywhere else but there. 
Uh, Paulie revealed last year that he was uh, playing phone tag with Richard Simmons about the movie, but it doesn't sound like he's ever uh, really been into the idea. Richard released a statement yesterday saying, quote, You may have heard they may be doing a movie about me with Paulie Shore. I have never given my permission for this movie, so don't believe everything you read. I no longer have a manager. I no longer have a publicist. I just try to live a quiet life and be peaceful. Thank you for all your love and support. So sounds to me... Even though he doesn't have a manager and he doesn't have a publicist, he wants it out there that he ain't approving of this movie. Yeah, so, I, I say leave knows? him alone. He seems like a nice enough guy. They did that uh, that podcast about the people that like tracked him down. Yeah, yeah, he was, when he was missing. Yeah, well, he wasn't missing. He, they found him, and he said, "Leave me alone," and that was it. And I said, yeah, "I wasted eight I mean, hours on this." Who cares? Leave I Richard know, right? Alone. Leave him alone, moment, and that's it. Those know? shorts are fascinating. To me. <laughs> I'll get you a pair. <laughs> Nothing under them. Just the just the candy striped shorts. Nylon on nylon, like wow. some of the pervs used to wear to joints. It's true. Yes. Yeah, I was told that by a dancer at Mons Venus. The real guys that gross me out, they're guys that actually come in with nylon shorts on and nothing on underneath. Ew! That's the rate. That, once you sold that, I changed my behavior immediately. That stopped the room, didn't it? That's when, that's when you went and changed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Got to go out to the car. You may have seen the uh, World Wide Web of misinformation that Kanye West got all his teeth pulled and replaced with an $850,000 set of titanium dentures? Well, not entirely true. Mm. Kanye still has all his teeth, but apparently he did get a set of grills made of titanium and other precious metals. Well, isn't that special? That's a good uh, use of money right there. According to Complex Magazine, I'm not a subscriber. Uh, I take it. I can't figure it out. They're, like they're fixed prosthodontics. Uh, and meaning that they are attached to his teeth. Kanye posted a picture on his Instagram story. Mac, if you can find anywhere online a Oh, you're not a, at the studio I, today. So I can we do can, it, though. You he can, can do, do it, it from home? Do, yeah. I can uh, do it. Okay. If you can find a picture of Kanye. <laughs> what did I miss? What Mac, I, I hope you feel better, Mac. I do uh, too, Rob does, Rob's not Thank rooting you. for you, but, <laughs> but I'm rooting Thank for you. you. I enjoy picture, having Larry Flint on the show. There's a picture on... <laughs> I just want to make sure Conway. <laughs> um, it says he looks like the Bond character, Jaws. Jaws, yeah, who, uh, Richard Keel. Like. Hey, um, yeah. This is going to... Kanye West should call your wife. I'm just saying um, he needs a, an injection something because he's he doesn't look the same anymore. He looks well, like I don't he, think uh, his Has he greatest, been altered? I don't think his no, greatest he's, feature is his mouth to start with. No, I'm talking about his weight. Oh, he's gotten a uh, tubby? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's it. I'm looking at that. So what? what? I that's don't see terrible. a big change. No. The grills, I think anything Kanye does is just, you know, it's fodder, but getting grill getting grills is not is not I think the craziest thing. No, if you're going to spend that much like, money on grills, yeah. I recommend Weber. Don't put that on the promo to that. It's a decent dad joke. Not terrible. Not, may, not my best terrible. work. No, I apologize. Yeah. Occasionally put some of my jokes up there, too. I still have that ego, you know. I really okay. do. Not always your shekinisms on out there every goddamn day anyway. Uh, a Chuck E. Cheese game show <laughs> is in the works where duos of big kids, you know, those over 18, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. can compete in supersized arcade games. Uh, these games will include pinball, air hockey, uh, alley roller, and the human claw. The pair who uh, earned the most tickets will get to exchange them for uh, prizes off a massive version of the Chuck E. Cheese prize wall. And uh, we don't do a lot of guests on the show anymore, but we happen, uh, Mac, I believe on the phone right now, we have the producer of Chuck E. Cheese, the game show. Can we, oh, uh, wow. That's great. Rob, do you have him? I think you've got him over there. Can you put him on? Yeah, yeah, here we go. Yeah. Hi, uh, is this the producer? Hello. <laughs> yeah. Are you the producer of the Chuck E. Cheese game show? I was having trouble with my phone. Well, you, we got you now, sir. Yes, um, this is the producer of Chuck E. Cheese, the game show. Hello. And so are they competing, are they competing for money or just tickets? Tickets. <laughs> Just tickets, that's all they mm -hmm. get? And yeah. is there any it's catering? It's pretty early on. Um, <laughs> we haven't 
honed and refined it. There's no word yet on a network or premiere date. Yeah, but, we're working, there... but, but the concept is it. It's grown-ups at Chuck E. Cheese playing the game. You was it, your, you was it your idea? Yeah, was it your idea? Yes, it was. That's fascinating. Do you give I'm them pizza? I'm running the whole show. I'm hiring the talent, the game show <laughs> hosts, uh, the contestants. Everything is under my purview. So if we Ooh. knew of a host that was interested, they should contact you? Yes. Okay, what is your name, sir? My name is Charles. Charles, and your last name? My name is, uh, you can write it down, Charles Stuang Stabilak. No, wait a second. Mm -hmm. Charlie? Yeah. It's Rob. Oh, well, Rob, welcome to the world of S-E-E. <laughs> 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 Stuang, Stuang Stabilak Entertainment Enterprises. Uh, well, I wish you all the best for this. <laughs> How did you come up with the idea? I met with the guys that did Top Chef and, uh, and nailed it. And we, uh, we're really, really excited about the prospects for Chuck E. Cheese, the game show. Yay! Are you still, are you still, <laughs> are you still uh, horrified by the animated characters? Um, I don't like the rat. I'm not a big <laughs> fan of the rat. We're going to, we're going to, the rat's going to be a model. This oh, is what okay. the guy from Top Chef said. It's mm -hmm. going to be a model with like the whiskers, but a really, a really pretty lady. A really, okay. said, said Charlie, I said, we don't need pretty ladies, we need prizes. <laughs> <laughs> said, no, we need a pretty lady, pa. And then they brought her in, and they showed me her, and oh, my God, I was wearing my nylon shorts at the Charlie, time. Charlie, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, we, no, no. Yeah, no. Chuck well, Chichi's the games. I, I wrote the theme. Oh, I'd love Please. to hear it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you win the most tickets, you win the game. It's the Chuck E. Cheese show for all of you. Chuck E. Cheese is coming to your TV. It'll fill your heart with lots of glee. Chuck E. Cheese is the game. Get into the rubber balls. I'm sorry. Get into the plastic balls. <laughs> Yeah, Charlie, I think that uh, one uh -huh. of the things, I mean, Chuck E. Cheese is, of course, about games and fun. Yes. But it's also about pizza. Pizza is a very big mm. part of it. Everybody, <laughs> at the end, uh, this was my suggestion to the people at Top Chef, and they know food. They do. They do. I said to them, I said, what we want to do is at the end of every episode of the Chuck E. Cheese game show, we have a pizza eating contest. <laughs> <laughs> now, will you compete in that? Her. I ask her. Hi, Charlie. How I have a question. It? Yes. <laughs> How big are the tickets you're giving away? You know when you see those checks when they win the lottery? Oh, no. Yeah. They're big tickets? Same size. <laughs> <laughs> a whole roll of them? Yeah. Yeah. A big roll. Big, giant roll. It looks like when they're laying out that cable this for is... fiber optics. <laughs> this is... <laughs> <laughs> this is a throwback to nostalgia because most of these uh, Dave and Buster's a huge competitor. Yeah, uh, right. they have they have cards where you earn your rewards on. Right, you actually want to go back to physical tickets, but large ones. Do you want to hear the ending credits? This Please. is the yes. theme I wrote for that. Okay, because yeah. yeah. I gotta go. I'm meeting with the uh, producers of Top Show. We still don't it. have a network or a premiere date. Or but sponsors. other than that, <laughs> but otherwise we are flying, flying Good. around. S E E. Okay. <laughs> yeah. TV listeners, you all said, please, we want a show about Chuck E. Cheese. Ha 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 Thank you, Charlie. He was having trouble with his phone, Oscar, but it was, that good, was uh, good that we had him there. That was the corporate Charlie. I loved yeah. it. I his loved phone it. sounded really good at the beginning, and then it sounded like a real phone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is some pretty brilliant marketing. Your wife just might start to wonder why you work out four hours a day and come home drunk. The owners of a bar in the U.K. is called, uh, let me see, The Gym. The new name, they, they, it was called the Mulster's Arms Bar, like one of those British names for sure. a watering hole. They changed it to The Gym, so now they can tell their friends and family, yes, I've gone to The Gym every day this week. I thought that was clever. Right? I like that. You know, and it would be good for uh, Jimmy Cerrito to have like a hipper offshoot of the Old Town Tavern called the gym. J have a homebrew at the yeah, gym. Yeah, but <laughs> you said JYM. Uh, <laughs> finally today, a Kentucky Republican introduced legislation that would amend the state's law so a person who had sex with their first cousin would no longer be criminally liable for incest. Mm. He then withdrew it. 
claiming an <laughs> error was made during the drafting process. House Bill 269, which State Representative Nick Wilson sponsored, was Nick introduced Wilson. <laughs> January 16th to a House committee on committees. I don't know. I don't know about that. I know nothing about that. According to the Kentucky General Assembly website, it would have struck first cousin from the list of familial relationships <laughs> defined as unlawful incest in the state. One has to do a deep dive on uh, Mr. Nick for this. In a statement sent to Newsweek, Wilson described this as a mistake. Sure. In a wider bill intended to extend legal protection against incest, which he'd withdrawn and refiled, leaving the first cousin reference in place. I'd Ugh. like to do a deeper dive on that one. All right? Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Man, what? You're, I, I see you brought It's take your daughter to work day. Oh, She's no. got a, an enormous forehead. There you go. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's take a break. <laughs> so many redheads. <laughs> Nick Ginger Wilson. I, this is all over the place. We'll take a break. We'll come back with something right after this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, God, don't laugh at your own material. It's not funny, and it's not professional. Let's talk about Chime, shall we? Improving your credit score might be at the top of your to-do list. But low or no credit can make 2024 a real drag. So yeah. no matter what you're buying, use the Secure Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card to build your credit scores with on-time payments for everyday purchases. Plus, there's no annual fee, interest, or credit check to get started. Use it like a Visa card at all Visa-accepted spots to bolster your credit with your own funds. Level up your credit game with Chime. Seize your financial future. Start building up your credit right now. It's the best time to do it. Open a Chime checking account with at least a $200 qualifying direct deposit to begin. Get started at Chime.com slash TMOS. That's Chime.com slash TMOS. The Chime Credit Builder Visa Credit Card is issued by Stride Bank N.A., member FDIC. Out of network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. Call 1-844-244-6363 for details. Late payment may negatively impact your credit score. Results may vary. Early access to direct deposit funds depends on payer spot me eligibility requirements and overdraft limits apply. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, time for an Oscar crime report. Uh, if you remember, it wasn't too long ago that o Oscar was caretaking his father's vehicle. Yes. Yeah. And hit and run. Hit as and opposed run. Hit and to run. driving it back out to Olney and then driving back to his own domicile, he decided to keep the car overnight at uh, in DC. Yeah, in DC. Yeah. Lando like crime. In Georgetown. Yeah, regu regular uh, neighborhood streets. You got. Is it the land of crime? Yes. You got side um, sway. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, my father's deductible was uh, $1,000 uh, because bad. he's, yeah. I mean, not I just great, but I, not I remember bad. growing up, it was like 250 right? Yeah. So Back in the day. 1000 a, a seems yeah. crazy. And that's dollars, um, not pesos, right? Yeah, oh, uh, pesos would be more dollars. Yeah, what was the, I, what is the Bolivian currency? What's it called in Bolivia? Dollar, el dollar. Dollar. El, el dollar. dollar, meaning the dollar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Or Bolivar, <laughs> one of the two. Okay. I would rather have dólares than Bolivars. I'll tell you that much. Is it um, not the steadiest market? <laughs> well, not it, now. It's what, no, it hasn't been forever. Um, so I call, and uh, I'm, I'm navigating this process for my father. Um, I don't know why, but that's what happens as the youngest of my family. You're a good son. They um no I should be paid for my time now and like you are in the this city. This is over. Um, I had a friend. Did he confuse you with that music? It yes, like I was like, what is like, 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 I thought like, you were I, pausing I like, for am it. Am I having sex with my father? No, I didn't know it was no, also for romantic. For years, this is Oscar in the city music. That's your in the city. I never liked that in the city music. You've never no. said one word. Well, because now I can tell you. It sounds like now I'm, I'm incest and I'm writing a I'll bill about my dad. Track. What happened to the, uh, what's the latest on the crime? Well, it's, uh, they, the police have done nothing. For, uh, what I like to call dick for us. Okay. Nothing. Right, um, I talked to a detective. They have be the bigger fish to fry. They said that another detective would call me in roughly three weeks, and no one's called. Got nothing. Shocking. As I said, we'd have nothing. But I do have a police report. So I take the police report, give it to my dad. He's about to pay $1,000. I have a friend of mine that says, hey, don't worry about the $1,000. 
because there's a law in the DMV that was passed that if it's um, uh, basically an accident where you're not at fault and there's an uninsured driver or they can't find the driver of the car that hit you, hit and run, you only pay $200. I said, wow, this is fascinating. I could save my dad $800. Yeah. I tell my father. He said he calls insurance, and they don't know. They think My dad thinks I made this up. Like, okay. I have no source, and I made this up. Well, I'm wondering about state lines here, Oscar. I'm yeah, me about too. Jurisdictions yeah. and things like me that. Me too. Right. I have another friend that works at the insurance company. I called directly. I said, do you mind looking this up? Because I feel like I have some information that was told to me, and I found it online, but I don't know if this is correct. Right. They said, no, nope, it's correct in Maryland, Virginia, and D.C., there is a law that if you are, if it's a hit and run and you can prove it, which most people can't, you seem to have video of the hit and run, right. which I do, it is $200 and not the full deductible. Win win. That's fantastic. Win effing win. But no, uh, no evidence or anything. They're not going to catch the person that did it. Well, it. well, first, let me clear this up. You have to have evidence. Hard evidence. And with everybody having a ring camera or a ring of security, you usually can these days. Okay. So you have that. Um, the other side is the police, I don't blame. Why would they bother? Why would they bother? Well, I mean, there's for... so much crime there and you can't. I mean, yeah, if it's, why would if they it's a non-bodily injury thing, yes. they, they move on. That's the way. Yeah. So does it look like uh, the odds That's are been confirmed. Favored? $200. That's a win. That's, That's a great. win as far right? as I'm Right? for you. Concerned. That is Consumer. awesome. Uh, reports. Well, you know what? If you get that windfall, that means you will have eight hundred dollars to. Uh, I don't get anything. Uh, well, your I dad just, uh, will have eight hundred and disposable to go roll the bones and go to the new casino that Rob's going to tell us about when we come back. <laughs> How's that for a segue team? This beautiful that? thing. I'm yeah. not a professional. We'll be right back. <laughs> Carla said to me today. Uh, Make sure you talk about your weight loss when you uh, when you go in. To the, I said I always do. I always tell people about that, and uh, you know, um, it's wonderful that that I've been able to do this, and I've gone to Derm Glow Skin and I've clicked on the weight loss button. Um, but here's the deal: um, I still don't enjoy her taking photographs of me, and I realize this is not what she wants for her Derm Glow Skin commercial, but. You know, well, you got to get I, it off your chest. Um, I feel like a dirty little girl that, uh, you know, is just being exploited beyond uh, belief here. I am happy about my weight loss. <laughs> I am happy I went to Derm Glow Skin and clicked on the weight loss button. I am happy that I got the medications that I wasn't able to get locally because they have them and they are ready to go. If you qualify, you fill out a quiz, a doctor writes your prescription, and you can get on the journey that I am. And she said the other day, why did you say you're not sure what to do when you get to your goal? I said, because she said you didn't pay attention. When you get to your goal, they put you on a maintenance dose, and that's how oh, wow, that's you, great. you roll after that. So they do have a plan for that. So my apologies to the people at DermGlowSkin.com, the weight loss button people that all live inside the weight loss button. I'm really <laughs> sorry about that. All you have to do, click on the weight loss button at DermGlowSkin.com, take the quiz, see if you qualify. A doctor will write you a prescription. The pharmacy will fill it, and your weight loss medication delivered directly to your house. If you're like Rob and you don't go out of the house, this is perfect. It It'll is come perfect. right to your door. You don't mm -hmm. have to go out of doors. If you're sick of waiting for your medication because of low or out-of-stock companies, now hear this. DermGlow will connect you with a doctor that is fully supplied. That's a big deal. No yes. waiting for you. If you're already on it, do what I did. Show the doctor your prescription and easily make the switch. It changed my life, people. That's the truth. I used to eat onion rings. Now I use them for hula hoops. I'm talking thin, Arthur. <laughs> right. So go ahead. Get excited and do it all online right now at DermGlowSkin.com. Check them out. Rob Spiewak, I, yes. uh, I really, really want you to uh, make me happy, but you said I may be disappointed at this news. Well, because one thing, you moved away, and so this really doesn't help you. But, but it there still is, excites me if there's something that's near the Del Marva. There is a Virginia state senator named Dave Marsden that in November introduced a bill to bring gambling to our area, namely Fairfax County, and it was shut down. Uh, I believe the people of Reston were very worried that it was going to land in Reston. Dude. And, of course, Mike, nothing better than a casino that's walking distance because, as you know, Reston is a walking community. A planned community. Well, he came back this week 
and is proposing to build a casino in what they call the new downtown of Fairfax County, Tyson's Corner. <laughs> that you doesn't know. sound like a terrible idea. Yeah, but it's it's just, already the most congested area like in the world. You're putting it in the in the absolute, you know, nipple, the top <laughs> of the nipple. Oh, don't you want like a high level of traffic to go into your no, business? No, I want if I'm a Northern Virginian or a Marylander or something like that, I want it to be a, you know, a little maybe a little longer drive, but uh, you know, Tyson's Corner I, I I give you Tyson's Corner Center at Christmas time. It's yeah, you functionless. Know what? Mike, Reston would be better. Someplace yeah. in Reston. Yeah. Or Someplace. need I say it? Do, do. It's called Devil Town for a reason. Oh my God. You know that could reinvent the entire Couldn't it? town of Manassas. Couldn't it? It what, could. What town would need it more in Northern Virginia thought, than than Manassas? Rip down the vape the, shops and put up a casino. Yep. <laughs> they could repurpose the Manassas Tech Corridor. They could repurpose the Manassas Mall. Oh, my is God, that, yeah. Uh, is that still there? I think it is. Yeah, and it's haunted. <laughs> right, though? Well, that's a pop-up that, Halloween shop. No, isn't, okay. that, isn't that one of the very first dead malls in I our I believe area? so, yeah. You know what they're going to... You know, I remember now. They were going to use Manassas Mall for pickleball. Oh, yeah, it's a trampoline uh, store. Uh, yeah. Tra trampoline. Yeah. The trampoline. Casino. Yeah, there's You've more profit all, in casinos. The, the parking is right yes. there. I, You know what? I am surprised. Is the water park still there? The Manassas water park? Yeah. Was that really Ma Manassas or was that Chantilly? For those of you that don't know Northern <laughs> Virginia, our sincere apologies for going off it, on this whole thing. You know, you can talk about You live there, so yeah. you have the best contact. I'll have to call Jay Rosenberg and see if he's still got them as a client. The well, water the... Park. Uh, Mike, the uh, yeah. I remember their name when they opened it was the Manassas City Brackish Water Park. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All I know about water parks, I was turned off to water parks when I went to Wild World. Uh, yes. Wild World, yeah. Yes. It soon became Many years ago. Flags, and I was actually going on a water slide, and I was in back of a guy, and right in the middle of his back was, <laughs> was a tick. Oh. A tick on his back. Sucking and his you blood. know what? You reported it, and Wild World was upset because they did not charge the tick admission. Yeah, they gave me a hard time. I talked to the head of security. He goes, I think it looks more like a mole to me. And then you said, I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so uh, we don't know for sure. No, and this it, is still in flux, but. Fairfax would be a great. Where space. would you put it in Fairfax? Well, I mean, you've got... Uh, Rip down uh, George Mason. There's a guy. There. I watch my, my slots online now, and there is yes. a guy named Raja. He's got millions of viewers, and he rolls the bones in these casinos like Cosmo and Aria out in Las yeah. Vegas. He's always so, out there. Crap this bar? dude, This dude goes on a, like a $500,000 uh, binge of gambling uh, where he's going to put the... He calls them Tito's. They're ten thousand mm -hmm. dollar cards, uh, tickets that he puts in the machine. The dude hits the grand. The dude hits the grand, a million dollar win. Last night I'm watching the other guy that plays the slots. His, uh, his name on the uh, online goes as NG. I think his name is Nasem or something like that. Mm -hmm. And he tells a story. The night that guy hit, mm -hmm. the night that guy hit, he sat down next to him at the high dollar slots, and he went through. A million seven. He went from oh winning a million to losing a million seven. If you think, by the way, Jesus. if you think falsely that by putting more into one of these machines, your odds are going to improve, remember those stories. I watch these. I get my total fix, and I don't have to go anymore. I, yeah. I would like to answer Rob's question. Yes. All right. Just, just briefly. If you took Fair, what is it, Fair Oaks Mall, yeah, the, what, and what's left of it, it was it in its a day a, a beautiful mall, but now again, yes. that would be a win property, too. I'd be down though. with yeah. that one. That would yeah. be awesome. And you know what? With its proximity to Route sixty six and fifty, it's the infrastructure's there and parking and all the stuff yeah. you need. Yeah, Go of course it. they'd have to close Auntie Anne's. <laughs> Why? I don't think You know so. what? I guess you're right. You can keep the kiosk outside <laughs> you of the snacks? slot machine. Yeah, yeah snacks. Absolutely. You wouldn't want to use that slot machine after yeah. somebody that's had a cinnamon pretzel was there. Sticky oh, wicky. Yeah, right? the Cinnabon the Cinnabon slot machine. Oh, it'd be terrible. I've been the on those Cinnabon before. The Cinnabon double diamond. I've been on I've been on those before. They were all in uh, Harris in New Orleans. <laughs> yeah. the, so the, true. The motto of Harris in New Orleans. None uh none of our chairs don't have a tear.
That's true. Most, That's most true. depressing. Worst. And dingy. Yes. And sad. Yep. I can say this now that we've left. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And sad casino the, I have ever been so in, in much my plastic. life. Going away the worst. Yeah. And I have been in some assholes in Atlantic City. I will tell you nothing compared to that. You know, yeah. with their with their wheels spinning, going, rrr, rrr, rrr. and about what twenty percent of them had sound. Yeah, right. I, I would mean, say that that is depressing, but I think the stickiest casino might be Charlestown, because uh, um, no, if you go you to the what? roulette I'm, wheel, no, the chips. I'm not going to let together. you put down my Charlestown. Charlestown. Oh, I like it. It's sticky, I will though. be honest. As a matter of fact, Oscar's on the phone with the people from Charlestown right now. <laughs> they are protesting what you were saying. He yeah. says he'll be there in 20 minutes. Look, Charlestown back in the day was like, hey, what are we going to? That place, have they? Well, you've been out probably yeah. most recently. Yeah. You they know what? Still they still maintain have... their standards, right? Yeah, they put a nice maintained... little steakhouse in there. But right. I have had chips stuck together at the roulette wheel. Right. Uh, Sticky. Well, you know what it's time for? Time to go to break? It's time to go to break. And then we'll <laughs> find out what this phone call is about. I like the profile shot of him taking the call. What do you mean? What? <laughs> what? How, did, how is that possible? He was wonderful. He was wearing orange just the other day. What You can't tell me he's passed away. That's impossible. Mac, that joke was for you. Uh, anyway, we'll take a break, and when we return, we Say something, to... Mac. Make it funny. I can't oh. find my mute button. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> the important TMOS news. Hey, we don't have the hats today. Uh, oh, no. We, uh, we had a snafu with those, so uh, we will have the prototypes for those hats. Uh, hopefully, very, very soon. Important TMOS news. The TMOS store is under new management, and guess what? It's my most recent wife. <laughs> you wrote that, and I just read it like a <laughs> dumbass. Oh, my God. She's a keeper, don't you? It's know? actually true. Uh so, visit our store. It's open 24 hours. New merch options uh, arriving soon. Merch options. Uh, limited edition TMOS hats coming. I personally met with the embroiderer, and he had me in stitches. Get it? <laughs> met with him. Look forward to meeting, uh, meeting with the next one. Uh, every purchase keeps oh, no. uh, the laughs coming. TMOSstore.com, the source for all things TMOS. Official, authentic, and awesome. Thank you for your support, and remember our motto, Rob. Ah, if you don't buy it, we won't sell it. Hit the thing. Thank you very, <laughs> Thank you. very, very much. Oscar, everything okay? Just to check. Yes, yes. You took a uh, call. It's about Santos. It's uh, the really? pediatrician. Yeah, no, he's fine. Okay. He's fine. Okay. He's fine. He, he shouldn't have a pediatrician. He's a full Oh, by the way, I, I, I just he's, want, he's vet. I don't, want anybody to say anything. I don't want anybody to say anything after this. I just want to say I work with two yeah. kind men. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you both for yesterday. I appreciate that. So that's all. Let's move on. All right. Thank you I will much. take that era of good feelings and ruin it, Mike, with today's song parody. Uh, today, people still talk about the triple demic, which is flu, COVID, and RSV. And so you must be aware. You're once, twice, <laughs> three times a pandemic. Just like I, I scripted it. <laughs> if you don't. Laugh, you cry. No. <laughs> Did you get all three shots? I have all three shots. That? Yeah. No, I know you have, but Mike yeah. was up in the air. Um, yeah, he, he was uh, RSV, I, I think, don't was know doubt. about that. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, now we're doing it in different dialects? <laughs> yes. I think I did. <laughs> I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm um, have good. you seen, I'm sure Oscar has. I've seen it The bowling alley last night was just... Hacking, and you know, uh, you ever, we've all experienced this. I talk about the great one at the chiropractors where the lady had the snot yes, in her nose. Sniffles, yeah. But this guy last night, so you know, bowling alleys where you're right next, you're on top of people, and they were having a party to beat the band. They didn't have the just the bowling team; they had their buddies coming in, and mm-hmm. they are hooching it up. They are drinking, drinking, mm-hmm. drinking, drinking. And this guy, every five, ten minutes or so, would go. <coughs> oh. And I, I was thinking, I'm getting it, but I think I would have gotten it today. So yeah, I, don't, yeah. I didn't get it. Right. Wash those hands, Mike. That's Thank what you. you need to do. Have you seen the uh, trending style of video, largely on TikTok, where you take something? Like for us, it would be, we're podcasters. And yes. it would be a bunch of us always say, of course, we're podcasters. I've seen the of one that says, a- we're, we're, uh, we're, what, is the, what is the team? We're Bears fans. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and so they have it for everything right now. And, uh, of course, you know, Kim Kardashian, not one to miss a trend. 
Of course she's Kim Kardashian. I'm Kim Kardashian. This is her office, I should say. I'm Kim Kardashian. Of course I have all my magazine covers covering my walls. I'm Kim Kardashian. Of course I have my mannequin with my custom measurements in my glam room. I'm Kim Kardashian. Of course I have my beauty campaigns on loop on a big TV wall. I'm Kim Kardashian. Of course I have 3D models, my brain and my plane in my office. I'm Kim Kardashian. Of course I have a tanning bed and a red light bed in my office. I'm Kim Kardashian. Of course I have a product shrine in my office. I'm Kim Kardashian. Of course I'm launching lip liners in 15 different nudes. It's kind of a it's kind of a flex, but it's trying well, to keep I mean, in with the trend. A, she's, yeah. she's, she's a bill, billion dollar empire with her makeup and skin. Make me a little on, pervy. Right? I wish that was video. I can't help myself. <laughs> no, no, no. That's no. fine. You wanted to see the plane. Yeah. You wanted to see <laughs> you want to see the models. Yeah, anything you say about her, I don't care. I still wouldn't see mind. See the looking. mannequin with her measurements? Mm. Yeah, I would have It to... is I, I did get the ick factor hearing it. Yeah, yeah because because, like, because uh, it's yeah, like yeah, some yeah, yeah. that she didn't come up with it. This yeah. is her factory where yeah. they say how do how do I maintain my relevance? And their relevance is let's just say not what it once was. Still amazing, but not yes. quite as amazing. Amen. Right. Well, now with these new lip liners, you never can tell. Amen. It could be a bounce back. Do you remember some weeks ago we talked about the lady that was building the tunnel? And she had an odd oh, way of I was talking. fascinated, what, yes. What part of the world was this where she was building the tunnel? Uh, this was in our area. I discovered her on, on TikTok. Originally. I recently found out that not only is it in our area, it's in Herndon. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. And like our buddy Jimmy, she's had some trouble with permitting. So she had to stop digging the tunnel because she couldn't get the permits. Under from, her home. Yeah, under her home. But it brings me back to the way she talks when she digs her tunnel. I think she should be able to build her tunnel because she seems to be taking it very seriously. But, oh, Lord, how I love her narration. It's just been over a year since I started building my underground tunnel system. In August of 22, I cut an opening off the side of the sub-basement and started to carve into the solid rock. Fabricated an elevator to lift material. What's she doing, using her teeth? One pound Pretty much. <laughs> Eleven pounds at a time. As the entrance tunnel stretched longer and deeper, I bought yes. an electric yard cart and converted it into a mine cart. I used hundreds of concrete blocks. It is. I've it watched, is. I've watched yard so many hours of this lady Building her tunnel. Yeah, what like is, in the background? What is, uh, is there uh, an end game of any? Well, uh, she's. Any I, kind? It goes it, to it, Jimmy's. I'm, my understanding <laughs> is she's looking for geodes, and this is her hobby, okay. and she's actually found a few, and and she's but, she's tracking this on TikTok. But it's a remarkable it, it, undertaking. And it I really think is. sometimes when you uh, you know you, you uh, have another tunnel when you're not getting uh, enough activity in uh, the original <laughs> tunnel. Oh, dear. You build your own. You build this your is own. where I put through the bedrocks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a do-it-yourself. Uh, Pat Sajak, uh, say what you will about him. He's not all that hip. And uh, last night, he seemed a little put off. When, no, this was two nights ago, sorry. That one of the contestants, after winning, kept saying, shut up. According to my math, by 200. Oh. <laughs> you didn't mean that personally. No, no, no. no, no. According to my math, by $233, you are the winner. $11,900. Shut up! Uh, it's been a big phrase lately. So my I love that. By the way, shut up reacting to some good news. Shut up! Yeah, shut you know what? Up. What Julia that. says fun. now when she gets excited, and we saw it on Christmas morning with a couple well-placed gifts, she says, oh, let's go. That's great. I, I like it. that. Let's go. Let's go. Have you ever been to Rancho Cordoba? In California. Or there's always, I, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I think of the, uh, uh, well, they're now out of the playoffs uh, with a terrible loss. Uh, but Dak Prescott with a, here we go. I'd like to see. <laughs> I would hope for, you know, for, you know, say what you will about the Cowboys, my favorite quarterback chant. I used to like Omaha with Peyton Manning. Yes, that was a good here one. Here we go. Here we go <laughs> to the golf course. <laughs> here we go to the Super Bowl. I got tickets. Uh, Rancho Cordoba, Mike, in California, they have a street that uh, they're thinking of changing the name of. It's Pupinot Street. And the problem is, is that under some of the street signs, because it's a nice neighborhood, 
There is another sign that says no dumping. Poop, poop and not? Poop and not? <laughs> oh, I thought it was very strange. It's a funny name for a street. I wouldn't think that would be a street's name. I can see why people want to change. You've changed the name to something less offensive. Why change it? It's been there for so long. Yeah, poop and not. Poop and not. <laughs> Mike, <laughs> Say it to let's, close, every day. let's close with this. I love this. A lady named Samantha Hart has taken a new job. But she's faced with a challenge. Uh, Samantha Hart does not like the naming sort of template they use for emails at her new company. This is Samantha Hart on the company email structure. We close with this. I am filled with dread over one aspect of moving to a different job that I always face when I do this which is having to have the tough conversation about how my name fits into a company email structure. My name is Samantha Hart, and most companies use the email designation of first initial last name, meaning that my email would be Shart. And at every single workplace, I have received an email from HR the week before I start, letting me know that my name does not exactly fit the company email structure as they would intend. You know who offered a lot of sympathy as a co-worker? His name is Samuel Hithead. <laughs> there you go. He had to work for that one. That's a bit of a stretch on that But one. anyway, okay. that's all I have for you today. Hey, Mac, I like videos. Are you going to be coming into work tomorrow, do you think? I, I think so. Okay. I, uh, I'm trying to be here. That's wonderful. We, we don't, it. Pr- don't bring anything contagious. Yeah, Oscar won't let you in if yeah. you're, uh, you know, if you still got the dribblies. Hey, how oh. about this? Send a video of yourself. There you go. Uh, we have to get out of here. We will be back with a fabulous bonus show yes. tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to miss that. And subscribe to the bonus show. It's that time of year. We want all of you to subscribe. That's how you support this show and keep us going. Ladies and gentlemen, for Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana, Mike O'Mara saying so long, everybody. Tyson's Corner. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Want more? Make sure you check out the Mike O'Mara Bonus Show. Get it at MikeOmaraShow.com. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Do you want to look the best you can for your age, or are you trying to be something you're not? With a sexy body and just a knock a ten figure. Sabrina, don't just stare at it, eat it.